Have you ever had a time that someone asked you to borrow your computer? You may have personal information like your bank statement, documents, or private or personal pictures that you took at Las Vegas that you didn't want to show or share with anybody. It would be a good idea to create like a separate account for them. So that basically having a separate account, they can't get access to your documents or your pictures or whatever. So today I'm going to show you how to create an account on a Mac. So what we want to do is click on the Apple icon on the upper left hand corner and then click on System Preference and then you want to click on the Show All icon and select Users and Groups, open it up, double click to open it up and then you want to click on the padlock to unlock it, enter your password. Once the padlock is in an open position, that, you, that means you can create accounts and create or delete accounts. So let's just create an account for our friend. So click on the plus icon. And there's actually four different accounts that you can create. Administrator account gives basically the person full access to everything on the computer, to all the data, and to be able to match all the users. Standard accounts, basically they only could access their own data, their own home directory, and their own programs. And then manage parental control account. This is for kids, so it depends on how old your kids is. You can select the age range, and there's like preset uh, parental controls for them. And then the final one is sharing account, so basically if you have like a specific folder that you want all these various users to be able to access you can create a sharing account that this particular folder can uh, this particular user can access but today we're going to create a standard account so let's go back to get standard and let's just make up a name so Jack Smith that's going to be our user and the account name let's just Name the account name J Smith instead of Chat Smith and their password and verify the password in the password verify box and also a password hint just in case. You just type password here. Uh, make sure you write down a password somewhere because most 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 of the time people when they change their password or type in a new password they forget what it is. And then after you set the password and the password hint, let's just click on create user and your new user Jack Smith is created. Let's change the picture. So if you hover your you select the user account and hover your mouse over the picture, click on that, and let's just change it to um, something else. So click on default, give you a couple options there. Or if you have uh, the person's picture, you can actually um, uh, uh, browse to that folder and then add their picture there. But today we're just gonna we're just gonna choose a default picture. Uh, let's just put this right here, the gingerbread man. Click on save, and there you go. Jack's account is created. Now, for whatever reason, Jack needs to have administrator rights which is something that we don't want to give him. You could just check this box right here and this will make Jack an administrator. So you'll need to restart the computer after you make him an administrator. But we're not going to make him an administrator. So let's just go ahead and uncheck that and click OK. So we still need to restart for that uh, to change. So let's just click OK there. And after we create his account, could test it by logging off the computer and then uh, logging back in. So right here you can see the login screen that we have. The new account I just created, Jack Smith. So I'm going to log into this account. Okay, and then I'll type in the password. Verify that our account is working. Okay. 
Then you'll have to gun, click on continue. Uh, I think we'll set up, set up this Apple ID later since he doesn't really need to get access to uh, any Apple stuff. So we'll just go ahead, click on that button uh, later and then skip. Enable series, yes, it's fine. So we'll just go ahead, continue right there. Continue right there. There it goes, and he's logged in. So we go here, upper left hand corner, click on the Apple, system preference, and go under users and groups. You see current user, Cat Smith, standard user account. All right, so he's logged in. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to delete this account once he's done using this computer. So after he's done using the computer, make sure you log him out. Uh, just like log out. And then log back in as myself. Okay, so we're logged back in as myself. And what you want to do is click on the upper left hand icon, the Apple icon, and choose system preference. And then click on the show all icon. And go under users and groups. Again, you want to click on the padlock. Currently it's locked right now, so it's in the closed position. So we want to click on that and then enter our password to unlock it. And then the padlock is in the open position. So since uh, chat is done using the computer, we don't need his account anymore. So, we'll, so the way to remove his account is click on the minus icon down here. Click on minus. And when you delete his account, there's actually a couple of options. You can actually save his home folder as a disk image, so that will be his name .dmg. So that way, if for whatever reason you need to recover the data, there's a file that you can recover. So this is going to be a compressed, uh, compressed image of his home folder. Now, if you just want to delete his account but leave his home folder alone uh, without compressing it into a DMG file choose option number two which is don't change the home folder the home folder folder remains in the user home directory but this deletes the user account uh, or option three is just delete the home folder and the user account well since since chat doesn't need anything nothing needs to be saved and we don't need his account we'll just go ahead and click on this option delete the home folder and his user account delete the user and there you go his account is gone and his home directory is gone as well. Let me know in the comment below if you think the video was helpful. Subscribe to this channel for more computer tips and tricks.